Hi, it is me again. I'm back and I am here today because Jaren has summoned me to do a tutorial. Now, I used to do makeup tutorials on my page when I first started my YouTube probably like six to seven years ago, I think. Whatever the case, I didn't know what I was doing. And I would like to say I got way better at doing my makeup. So this is a redeeming moment for me. So I'm gonna think positively about it. So I'm gonna first start with Dixon, sorry, Dickinson's with Hazel to refresh and tone my face. As I got older, I realized I have developed moles all over my face. Like, everywhere. Here, here, like, and then here. It's weird. Next, I'm gonna moisturize with Pines um, Dry Skin Cream, which is weird because I don't have dry skin. I don't have dry skin. Clearly my voice isn't working, so I'm gonna drink some tea. Okay, we're good. I don't have dry skin, but this stuff makes my skin feel great and looks great, so. Next, I'm gonna do my brows. And I use Anastasia. I say Anastasia because Anastasia, like that sounds foolish. Um, if I'm wrong, mm, sorry. And I use the color dark brown. All right, and the brush I use for my brows is a four brow brush. It's called Pro Brow. And I just dip it in. And brush it back and forth in the little top. I always use this mirror. Backstory on this mirror is I got this for Christmas years ago, before I even graduated high school. My cousin got me this for Christmas, and this mirror has stayed with me forever. So shout out to my cousin Marissa. Knowing what I needed years before I needed it. I use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer to clean up my brows in color 40. I just clean up really the end because I like it to be perfect. And that's all I can put on you. And then I just take, this is a Morphe brush. It's fluffy. And I let it dry a little bit, which it has because I've been talking. And then just buff it out. Why should I turn it 
down cause they not impressed Catch them hating on me, break they can see me stressed and I haven't used my Fenty in a long time, literally, like months, and I use number 380, shake that up, and then I'm using the e.l.f., um, I think that says blurring brush, looks like it's super fluffy. And I like to just put it on there first. And I like to put a little foundation just in the, really the center of my face and then blend it out to the perimeter. most of the cover should be in the center and then whatever's left just can go around foundation no foundation it's a good match and so to the other side do the same thing just push it in where I want it the most and start to blend if you want to know the business, I'm a homies, I'm investors. If you want to get investigative, I don't answer questions like, whoa, whoa, tell me less. Tell your man, sit my down, ain't that serious? But I am about the drama if you're curious. Bring it to my door and I'm busting like furious. This book is for everybody, it's by curious. Next one, the docket is highlight. Now, typically I use the color pop, color 36. I think it's deep 36, no dark 36. I don't know if that matters, but that's what we gonna do. And when I place my concealer, I like to like a small triangle. I have bigger cheeks so it doesn't I don't need to make my face go like wider because I already have a full face so I want to keep the highlight towards the middle it's not always symmetrical so don't try to be perfect so live your life okay and I don't really go high up with the forehead and just keep it there because it's kind of full dispersed out. Yeah, we up 
town. Tell me less. Hop up in the Kobo, wait until I'm rich. Mama, you done did the most. I'ma pay the rest. Pay the change rest. because it get cold. They be working less. I'm gonna use a smaller brush to blend out my nose, just which is the same brush I use to um, clean out my brows, just because I like it to be more concentrated. And to finish um, blending out my highlight, I like to go back on my foundation brush to make the line seamless between the concealer and my foundation. And like the sponge sometimes picks up products, so I like to go over the highlight with a brush too just to make sure that there's no patchiness now i don't always do contour but for the sake of the video i will i don't know what color this is it came off but again it's the color pop no filter concealer i just realized i did not put on primer look at my primer we missed this up. It is okay, mistakes happen. If mistakes happen, we just roll with the punches. So again, the smallest amount, and people like to go like on the bridge, I go here. Just there, you know why? Because when I'm blending it, I'm gonna get a product up there. I'm gonna get a product down here. So why do I need to place it there? Just place it where you want the product to be concentrated. I did not pick up any more product. To blend out my contour, I just used this brush by, I don't know. Y'all remember, um, y'all know Ipsy? That's what this brush came from. And it's cute. Got little rhinestones on it. And that's all. I don't know what the name of this brush is. But I just take my brush around and like push in the product. The way I want it. And, then and what I do is that on my face, I can feel the bone right here, and I just ride like along, like along the bone. I don't know how to explain it. And since I didn't like push make the product all right here, it's easy just to blend out. And of course, you already know, go back with my foundation brush and make sure that it's seamless. My face looks good though without, without using a primer. And then like right here, it's like a lot darker from the concealer, so I'm gonna push up the highlight more. Mmm, cute. Okay, Fenty. Looks like I'm gonna go back to using you. So unnecessary. 
here with these cars. Next, I'm going to blend out my nose contour with another Morphe brush. It is, um, it looks like the other one I use, but it's like a tapered end, if you can see. And then, carefully. And then blend it into where my eye naturally curves there. And then, because it's tapered, you can see it's like tapered. So, with a brush like that, I bring it down my nose and curl it down. So that's one side. brush I use to blend out the highlight and of course we're going to make the sure it is seamless and so since I would rather have more highlight than contour that's why I saved this up for last and so I'm just going to re solidify where I want the highlight by brushing back and forth and then I'm going to ride on that seam and blend And so where the contour meets my highlight here, use the foundation brush just to make that seem as if well. No seams, okay. So now we're gonna move on to powder. And I use Sasha Buttercup. It's not gonna focus because it's 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 all gone. So I'm gonna give me some buy me some more of this because this is my ish. And then I just use a Laura Mercier poof because I don't know. I don't like to use a sponge. Personal prep. And so I kind of fold it like a taco. Yum. And then press it. And I'm not trying to leave product here, like I'm not trying to bake the mouth area, I'm just setting it with the powder. And we sit for about 30 seconds. 
Okay, and now that that has baked, we are going to use the Studio Max Studio Fix and NC55. It's a Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And I use this to brush away my setting powder. And I use the Real Techniques powder brush. So fluffy is my favorite. Just brush it away. Right, this is my thing. Let's pick up, get a little spicy. So, for the I look. I am going to challenge myself and use only one palette, the Jaclyn Hill palette. Barely use it, as you can see, I probably use one, two, three, four colors. So I'm gonna do like a blue, like a smoky blue look. I'm gonna conceal my eyes with Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And you know, it's the twisty thing, so twist it up and straight the brush. You know how to frame. First, I'm going to take a blending brush from Morphe. It is the Morphe 139 brush. This is the head. I'm going to take the color Butter, which is this. Take the color Butter, and I'm just twisting it. Around the brush and then go into the crease. I'm happy with twisting and tap. There we go. And next, so I want to do like a blue smoky look. So I'm going to go into the color twerk. Twerk is this blue here. And I'm going to use my blending brush. So I'm just going to saturate the brush in that color. 360 in that. Basically, my brush is twerking into this color. Tap out the excess, and this may have cloud fall, I'm not sure. 
So I'm literally am not sweeping yet. I'm just placing it in the crease. Like not the high crease, but literally where my eye folds. And there is a little fallout, so I'm going to place some insurance. I'm going to place some insurance on the air. <clears throat> we all no fallout problems. Mm, let's try something different. Let's try a concentrated brush. I'm using the Morphe 210. And I'm gonna saturate only one side, so the only side that has the product will be the side pressing my lid. I hope it all saves me from something. And I'm just in the crease. It looks so different than it does on camera than it is in person. Like in no time, it's so much deeper. I didn't add any additional product to the brush. This thing was already here. is going to be to smoke it out and I'm going to be using a dark brown. I'm going to be using Central Park, this little color and I'm using the Sephora precision brush. It looks like this. Similar to the Murphy brush but I'm a little mm, denser. And again, just saturating one side. And then what I'm doing is I'm just gonna be putting the color under where my eye um, creases. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. So you see where my eye creases? I'm gonna put the color underneath that line and then we're gonna blend it up at the end. And just dip in and out the color as much as you need to. color did not pass the crease so I'm gonna bring the two together okay once we get to the side 
I don't go all the way over, but I just stop about here and then half. And I'm gonna go a little deeper along the line, my lash line, and color soda pop. I'll show you in a second. It's like the deeper brother. This is Central Park, the color that I used originally, and then this is um, soda pop. And I'm gonna use some of that. I'm gonna brush upside down and put it, pat it along the lash line. in with the blending brush and blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and um, we'll be back. And next I want to put a something here to make it more smooth so I'm gonna take this Eagle Tools brush with the in like this and I'm gonna brush it along the And then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. This is another Eagle Tools brush. It's called the, a large shadow brush. And I'm going to, it's clean. And I'm gonna marry the blue with the beam. I'm gonna make silk cream. And I'm going to press. Uh, this Eco Tools brush is super fluffy. I'm gonna brush it on both sides. And then really join the two. Okay, next I'm gonna bring a little shimmer. This one. My nose looks so pretty up close. Uh, I did them myself, so I'm gonna dip a brush into Obsessed. Push that in, and I wanna put this color inside to bring like a, this, a different dimension to it. I'm just taking the Eco Point Eight Concealer Brush and just blending it more in with the shadows. And so I'm just gonna brush away the powder. I'm gonna move on to mascara. I don't really like mascara. I would walk out looking like this just because 
I hate cleaning mascara off. So if you have any tips on how you remove mascara easily and effective, because I would wash my face in the shower and still wake up with mascara tears. So if you have any tips, let me know. Favorite mascara is the Urban Decay Pro Virgin. I like this mascara because it's super light and buildable and it doesn't feel clunky and yeah even like it's such a light formula like whatever they did <laughs> so i like to look down when i put my mascara on make sure i really coat the lashes so my mirror is just under me and i'm looking down and i do put a little on my bottom lash i don't do it for more product because believe it or not this brush is coated deeply it, it, it saturates in product i never really have to dip twice what you do is that you brush let that dry a little bit and not all the way and then you brush again that's how you build product like i can literally do the other eye and it looks just as banging as this that's what i'm gonna do show y'all but you do not need to keep dipping your brush in mascara i only dip my brush once That'll be a cool video. The only dip your brush once challenge where you only can dip your brush into product once to finish a look or to do a look. Ooh, that sounds so fun. My eyes look so pretty. We're gonna move on to my lips since the eyes are complete, yay. But, um, so I'm just gonna line my lips now. Finally found a color. I'm gonna use Kapow by ColourPop. This is when like ColourPop first came out. There is no type of indication that this is ColourPop. I'm gonna use Kapow. And this is like a gray color and I definitely use a brown lip liner, but I don't know, something about a brown lip liner kind of looks good with everything. And I thought it would kind of like look so good with this blue. Cause it's like a smoked out gray coat. But you can blend that map because it does get matte. Oh, it's so pretty. This is a pretty look. Shout out to Jaren who got me to do this because I'm gonna redo this look. This is this is cute. I'm gonna do a subtle blush, which I normally don't do a blush, and a subtle highlight just to put some color into the center of my face. And I'm using Black Up um, in color 03. So I'm gonna take, um, this is a Sephora powder brush, and it's just a fluffy, cause I don't want the color to be like, mm, like to stuck, stick to me. I just want it to lightly brush, so. I'm just gonna lightly coat the tip of the bristles and I'm just going to press it into my skin lightly. Oh, that's 
so pretty. That warmed my face up. And I put it right underneath where I'll put highlight, but kind of in the highlight space as well. Oh my gosh. I'm happy I didn't contour. Whoa. I'm gonna have to bring that blush out of retirement. Next is the highlight time. I'm gonna be using a Luxie brush. And this is a head, and it is called the Taper Highlighter. So just what it, it, does, it says is what it does. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Face Powder. Um, it just says shimmering powder for face and body. No specific color, but it's part of their like their space collection. And it does come with an, a brush. Whoops. It comes with a brush at the bottom, but whenever something comes with a brush, we know it's probably best in our best interest not to use it. So lightly right above the high above right above the blush I'm going to put the highlight. Oh, that's so pretty. A little on my bridge and a light right there. And I'm putting on my nose. A little in my forehead. On my forehead, not in. It can be in my forehead. My lip here. Oh my gosh. This side is so pretty because my window is on this side. Hey, so I finished getting ready off camera. I took off my scarf, um, put on a new shirt, and added some jewelry. I am wearing my necklace from my friend's website. I will leave the link below. Please support her. So yeah, this is my look of uh, blue smoky eye. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it and that you had fun with me and that you learned something new or learned how I did my makeup. I don't know, but thank you so much for tuning in. And again, I hope you guys are not getting tired of my background music because I'm gonna use this background music until my brother comes out with another song. Um, this is my favorite song by his. I hope that you enjoyed listening to it. The link will also be in the, in the description below. And I also, again, wanted to shout out my friend Jaren who has a Instagram page for black girls so that we can see how, you know, the makeup looks on our skin tone. She's, um, she also shares new makeup that she's purchasing or her favorite things. So it's just a fun Instagram to follow if you love makeup. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in for another Faithful and Stylish TV video. And I'm really enjoying this and not getting caught up in the numbers and just trying to stay consistent and committed to doing what I am doing and what I'm placed here to do. No matter the numbers, no matter the audience, no matter the impressions, none of that matters. The only thing is that matters is that whatever I have to say, whatever God needs me to say, I will say it. And whoever needs to hear it will hear it. And then that's the end of it. You know, I can't get caught up and hold back because I'm scared that it won't be received well or, or it will be a waste of a video because only so many people have watched it and I could have waited until I was bigger in order to say what I had to say. But I'm going to be faithful with the small things and then God in his perfect timing will bless me with the following. If I don't have that following, he will still bless me. So yeah, enough of me rambling. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And please like, subscribe, share this video. I never say that, but I'm asking you to please like, subscribe, and share this video with whoever you want to uplift them. I don't know, just do it. It's free. So thank you again and enjoy your day. Bye.